Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, May 12th, and uh, show you over here. It's a very overcast day. Uh, they're calling for rain both Saturday and Sunday. So I wanted today to, and I did, was all the wood that was here is now all stacked up. So uh, the kids helped me a little bit yesterday. And then I finish this up today, so I'll show you that there first. Uh, I know, I'm looking at it, and it's more than four feet high. Uh, this here, just, just this row here, that's 16 feet right there. So there's better than two-phase cord right there. And like I said, it's more than four feet high. So I know I got more than five face cord out of this because some of the wood back there is also part of that as well. And uh, so that's, uh, we got a lot of wood. And then the black cherry that we got, we put over here because that's already seasoned and ready to go. Uh, so what I wanted to talk about today, hold on a second. I see a spot on here on this lens, so hold on a second. Hopefully that's better. So anyway, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so what I want to talk about today. Let's talk about when SHTF happens, trying to keep things as normal as possible and why. Okay. So let's talk about uh, the grieving process to start with. Let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, SHTF happens. All of a sudden, it's like, you know, let's, let's, okay, we're going to go with the scenario, okay? We're going to go with the scenario, and then we'll go from there, okay? So, lights go out, not coming back on, but you don't know they're not coming back on, okay? So, the lights go out, your cell phones are not working, everything is down, and uh, you can't figure out what's going on. So, the first thing is fear. It's going to be your first uh, initial reaction is, oh my God, what's what's happening okay and then after a couple of days and the power's not coming on and nobody's out there trying to get the power back on and you don't know what's going on then it you know then it's going to turn that fear is going to turn first of all it's going to be disbelief you're going to be like there's no way this is not happening i don't believe it can't be happening this isn't real then from there what's going to happen you're going to go to anger you're going to get pissed off. You're going to be like, this is not right. This is not how it should be. I should not have my lights out. They should be on. You're looking at probably about four days for that before you really start getting pissed. And then uh, eventually, you're going to come to the realization of what's going on. And it becomes acceptance. But with that acceptance, you know, you're, you're going to be in huge shock. Because most people are not prepared for anything. So, like I said, shock is going to be a huge, huge thing. And, you know, now it's like, what are we going to do, you know? So, part, part of what I want to talk about today was trying to keep things as normal as possible in an SHTF situation. And what do I mean by that, okay? So, we got out here, and we obviously live off-grid. <coughs> mm. I think I just swallowed a bug. Bugs are all bad today. Um, so, <laughs> more protein, see? Anyway, so, <clears throat> we moved out here. No, I didn't swallow him, but he was in my mouth. Um, we set up our own solar system. Now, that may or may not work if an SHTF situation happens. I don't know. I mean, if it's an EMP, we'll deal with that as we have to deal with it. But if it's just a lights-out situation, at least we still have power. Okay, I've, you know prepared our place so that we still have that luxury now maybe the internet doesn't work i don't worry about tv because we don't have a tv and i don't miss tv i'll be honest with you it's almost two years with no tv and i don't miss it at all but uh so internet's not working but you know you still got power so you can still get on your laptop and play games or whatever so you have that normalcy now I'm, a lot of this is what i'm saying is is trying to keep things as normal as possible not only for yourself but for your children, okay? 
uh, being able to still take a hot shower for however long the propane holds out, okay? Or, you know, having something set up so that you can take a hot shower off the wood stove. Being able to be warm, being able to still brush our teeth, being able, like I said, just being able to wash up. Uh, trying to keep things as normal as possible. Now, obviously, in an SHTF situation where the lights went out and weren't coming back on, that's obviously not a normal situation. But trying to keep a continuity and so it's going to be a shock for everybody even like for us if something happened it'd be like oh my god okay because it just changes everything hold on one second i'll call her back so mom um so anyway you have that that shock that happens oh my god this is this is real now we got to deal with it okay so with keeping things as normal as possible it's not going to be so traumatic especially for the kids, okay? It's gonna be traumatic no matter what, but trying to have things as normal as possible, being able to sit down still, try to have a meal, uh, you know, do what you gotta do. That's gonna be a huge, huge part of trying to keep your sanity, number one, because people are gonna go insane. I mean, people will go absolutely bonkers because they won't know what to do. They won't know how to deal with it. And, uh, you know, then things get real scary after that, but, well, that's another whole video. <laughs> but um, the important thing is is to realize you're going to go through stages, you know, of shock, you know, denial, anger, acceptance. It's almost like the phases of going through death. I mean, when you realize that you have, you know, like if you have uh, cancer and they basically tell you you're going to die, you go through stages. You know, it's like there's no way. This is not happening to me. You know what I mean? That whole same type of situation. But this is going to be on a much grander scale. So trying to keep things as normal as possible is going to be a very, very big thing for everybody. And, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it's a frightening thing. And if you look at it and you think about it, it's scary and it makes you want to bury your head in the sand and just not even deal with it. But the thing is, <clears throat> with prepping, with putting yourself in a situation <clears throat> where you're able to deal with things, you're going to act and not react, and I've, I've talked about that in another video, okay? You're not going to go out of fear, okay? You already have a game plan in your head. You already know what you want to do, so you just go, okay, here's the situation. Now we got to deal with it, and let's go on. You're not going to be, you know, you're going to basically eliminate, you know, that fear part of it. It's a little scary still, obviously, but you're going to have a game plan in place, and you know what you got to do. And a lot of people have no game plan in place and have no idea what they're going to do. So knowing what you plan on doing, again, what we're talking about is an advantage. Any advantage that you give yourself gives you a better chance of survival. Especially for you folks that live in the cities and stuff like that. If something goes down, the first thing you're going to really truly want to do, and I know a lot of people said they're going to just bug in, you need to get out if you can. If you can get out, you can get out. I mean, or if you, you know, try to, you know, hunker down for a few days and try to ride it out. I mean, there's there's pros and cons both ways, okay? But eventually, the cities are not the place you're going to want to be. You're going to want to be out of the cities, okay? But most people are going to head towards the cities, believe that or not. But anyway, um, you know, not being afraid, being focused, having a game plan, knowing what you want to do. You're going to be in a better, a better um, mind, you know, frame of mind, and to be able to more ready to deal with the situation. Okay, so something to think about, guys. And, I, and this is what like I said. I like to try to make you guys think, and I want you to think, and I want you guys to have a game plan, and I want you guys to be prepared and be ready for whatever. And like I said, anybody that's a brand new prepper and has just opened their eyes and said, "Oh my God, the world is going to crap, and I got to do something." You're never too late. Anything that you do to better yourself, to put yourself in a better situation, even the smallest thing, is going to give you an advantage over most people. Now, there's people out there that are extreme, okay, that are really, really getting ready, okay? I'd probably be in that category, but that's okay, and I'm okay with that, okay? But the thing is, it's like, you know, if you're just getting started, Get out there, get your food and water. That's going to be your first things you're going to want to do. You're going to, especially depending on where you live. If you do not have a fresh water source and a way to filter that water, the, the first thing you want to do is make sure you procure a lot of water, okay? Then it's going to be food, 
Okay, then it then you start working on the other stuff. And it doesn't have to be all at once, guys. I mean, you can do it a little bit at a time and work at it, you know, get extra matches, uh, have enough warm clothes or, 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 you know, clothes if you're like in the desert and stuff like that. Have a game plan. Know what you want to do. If you have to bug out, have an idea of where you want to go. Um, that's really, really important. You may not plan on bugging out, but you may be forced to bug out. So those are things you want to think about as well. Okay, so like I said, I just, uh, I got to show you these guys over here, over here chilling. And there's Soxy. But anyway, guys, listen, um, I wanted to share this information with you. Please tell me your thoughts on this. Like, comment, share. See the little icon with me and the kids in the, in the picture. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, it's just, like I said, we're trying to share information, trying to work on things. Um, another thing I want to show you what I just did too. Uh, I did a couple yesterday. I put two loads yesterday and I added two more loads over a stone over in this area because that's where the wood was at. And so I wanted to fill that all in. So I did that as well. So just making more progress a little bit at a time. But, uh, you know, I feel real good. This here for me, guys, I'll tell you what. You know what this is for me? This is peace of mind. Peace of mind. That's what that is there, Okay. Uh, that, what I have right there between the two stacks, that'll get me through next winter. Now it's time to continue to add on to that, and that's what we're going to be doing. So anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to jump off of here for now. I hope everybody has a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Have a good time. Be smart, be safe, be prepared, okay? Don't live in fear, guys. That's the biggest thing, you know? Don't be afraid. If you're doing something rather than doing nothing, you're giving yourself the advantage. So pat yourself on the back for that. Really, truly do that, okay? And know that you're working towards a bigger goal. And then when something does happen, you are more ready, again, than 95% of the people in this country. If you have a two-week supply of food and water, you're ready than, more ready than 95%. All right, so I'm going to get off of here. Uh, oh, and, okay, real quick before I do that. Yes, Swiss flag. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think it was. I'm sorry. My mistake. Uh, I'll be the first to admit it, okay? So, anyway, that is that. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. And, uh, you know, tomorrow's not guaranteed, guys, so we don't know what's going to happen. And remember, it's one step at a time, it's one thing at a time, and it's one day at a time. STD. You know, it's a real easy way to remember that. I mean, it's kind of a, a weird thing, but it works, okay? Whatever you're working towards, whatever your goals are, as long as you work at it methodically, you will reach your goals, Okay. I, I promise you. I mean, look what I've done up here. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, a little bit of hard work, a little bit of sweat, some help from, from, from people that know more than I do, you know, and you get to where you want to be. You really do. And you learn. And that's the biggest thing, learning as you go. So listen, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now.